Hey guys, I'm going to walk you through how to make our 3D jellyfish. Take a look at everything included in your kit, get it all out and organized. Follow along with me with this tutorial. Feel free to pause where we speed up in places, take your time if you need to catch up. I like to go ahead and put all my paint out on the plate so it's all ready when I need it. We're going to start with your large brush and coat your entire canvas blue. Make sure to get all the edges. You just need a nice thin coat. And while it's still wet after you finish the coat, you don't want to dry first. I'm going to just take my brush and dab it in the navy blue. And I'm going to put just quite a few dots all over the page. That way it'll give us just a cooler water effect. Like parts of the water are deeper, just a little more dimension to the water rather than just one solid blue. You can do as much or as little as you like. Just go till you're happy with the color. Then you're going to give it a quick dry with a hair dryer before we go on to the next step. Find your jellyfish template and just grab a pencil and give it a rough trace. It does not have to be perfect. Take your small brush and you're just going to give it a nice good coat of white. Just paint right over top of your pencil line. You're going to fill it in. Once you get a good coat of white, just go straight to your blue. Mix those two together on your jellyfish and it'll give you a nice light blue jellyfish. Once you get a good color, go in with your dark. If you wanted to do more dark than I'm doing, feel free. Paint the little bells. We're just going to decorate with some dabs of darker. You can do white dots on this area. You can do the dark navy dots. Honestly, whatever you want. I'm actually going to come in with the white paint too and use the back of the paintbrush just to do some white dots on the top. We're going to glue the big clear glass marbles on the top of this and after the glue dries we'll be able to see these dots through it. I'll show you on my other one. I did, I wish I had added these because you can see through the paint. And I wish I had some white dots in there. All right, with your same brush, actually, let me dry it back off. I threw it in the water a little early. Just grab any of the colors, some white, some blue. Do a few tentacles. We're going to put glue and goodies on top of this. So they don't have to be perfect. I wash my brush really well and dry it off because I'm going to use this brush to scoop the glue. I'm going to give the canvas a quick dry here in a minute just to make sure I don't smear the paint everywhere. It's okay if a little bit goes. Um, I just don't want to smear it all over with the glue. Honestly, a lot of this stuff will stick to the wet paint, but I just want to make sure I'm not making a big mess. It doesn't have to be dry all the way. Just a little bit.
I'm going to separate my stuff a little bit just so I can, I'm going to be picky about where I place things. Let's get a good dab of glue on the backs of these marbles. I want to put these light blue rocks up at the top. I'm just going to give a good coat everywhere that I want to place them. Now just really start decorating anywhere inside your jellyfish that you want rocks and glass. Like I said, you can be picky about what you want to put. Use the same thing for each one. Here I'm just going to start being more random and just sprinkling stuff on. Just make sure you have a nice, good coat of glue for all these goodies to grab onto. Make your areas nice and thick. Fill in that glue. You can give a little pat down in places. You'll find a popsicle stick in your kit. I included this so you can help kind of smear things into place. You can also kind of separate your jellyfish tentacles a little bit. Just give them a little bit of space in between. We're going to shake off the extra, but this will help. Just kind of shape them a little bit better. Gently tip it up. And now for our long tentacles. These are fun. Give yourself a good dab of glue at the top. Just stick that in so it's grabbing well, and then just figure out which way you want to twist it. It's definitely going to look better one way. Give a dab of glue at the bottom. It just really needs to touch in two places. You can definitely tell it wants to curl better one way. I'm actually going to put a little something on top of that so you don't see the tentacle. Remember all the glue dries clear. So where it's holding it at the bottom, you won't see those white dots where you see all the white at the top, again, you'll just be left with all of your glass and rocks. If you have any tentacles that are sticking off the page and you want to trim them, that's perfectly okay. I'm just going to give this little one on the edge a trim, but we are finished with our jellyfish. Thanks guys. I can't wait to see pictures of your finished product.